Good afternoon and welcome to Penn's Perspectives on Company Roots. Today I'm interviewing Christina Pogorovici, a senior in Wharton Council and the co uh, in Wharton and the co-chair of Wharton Council. Thank you for coming on today and it's a privilege to interview you. My name is Cerise Jasti and I'm a rising freshman in the Wharton School and I'm from Homedale, New Jersey. The first question that I always ask is what are your roots and how do they help you in shaping your ideas and becoming the person you are today? Yeah, of course. Um, also, thank you for having me having me here today. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, and I also remember coming into Wharton as a freshman. Um, that was that was a very it, it seems like ages ago. Um, so I'm originally from Bucharest, Romania. I grew up in Romania for most of my life, um, and I went to high school there. I went to a public high school there. Um, we. Um, we weren't, our, my high school wasn't in English. So when I actually got to Penn, like that was the first time I actually took classes in English. Okay. Um, it was it was a big adjustment. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of things about me growing up have shaped me and a lot of the things um, that I experienced in my, in my younger childhood mm -hmm. um, uh, just got me to where I am today. But I think um, just like even in, from go coming from freshman year to senior year now, um, it required a lot of perseverance and a lot of hard work of like catching up a little bit with my peers um, in the first year and just making sure that I'm putting in like my best effort to be at on the same par as everybody else. Yeah. So how has your background influenced your activities and involvements in the Penn community? Um, so I came in as an international student. I came in as a um, first generation to the U.S. and a low-income student. So this was definitely a big part of my identity on campus. Right. Um, and also from this perspective, I saw a little bit of what could have been improved on this campus. Um, so my second semester on campus, um, I decided to join Wharton Council. And I mean, I was fortunate enough to actually uh, be able to join this beautiful family. Mm -hmm. um, and what Wharton Council does is that uh, on one side, we organize events for the entire Wharton community. So like 2,500 people. And yeah. then on the other side, we manage the clubs, all of the clubs in Wharton. So that's 41 clubs right now. Yeah. Uh, plus like ones that are in the pipeline of getting approved. So um, the reason why I wanted to do that was because like me going through the recruitment process of clubs, I realized that um, as, a, as a minority student or like as an international student, I felt a little bit um, like disadvantaged in a way mm -hmm. of like, I didn't know what consulting was, I didn't know what investment banking was and all of that. Yeah. So um, I wanted, I, I came in with this dream of like, okay, for everybody else, like I wanna make this as equal as possible um, and give like as much opportunity to others um, to be joining like whatever community they're looking for. Yeah, definitely. So every great organization has an incredible team. What qualities does your team embody and what qualities do you look for when you're recruiting for the Warden Council? Um, so we, we every year we have a discussion about the values and the and the things that we're looking for. Uh, one thing that hasn't changed ever is passion, like passion for change, passion for passion for anything, um, passion for doing something in the community. Because that's everything, everything that we do has some kind of impact. Um, yeah. Personal impact is important. Um, obviously, hard work and um, some things that you wouldn't necessarily consider, such as like being able to play devil's advocate in a conversation, um, being a team player. But at the same time, like sometimes when, when we're going in circles, it's good to have a person there that would just like, okay, what if we do it this other way that none of us have thought about? So just being creative. Um, speaking up, communicating, and having a passion. So I think those are those are things that you find on council. Uh, but most importantly, we're a family and we care about each other. Yeah. Um, so being um, empathetic, um, I, I don't know if that's the best word, but that's how I would describe it, uh, with your peers and being able to, to work in a team where you identify like what you're good at and what the person next to you is good at. Yeah. And so for for uh, the atmosphere of the club, how would you describe it? And what do you think is the biggest benefit about partaking in the Wharton Council community? 
Um, I think if you meet any of us, you will realize immediately that we're very different. So we're each coming from different backgrounds, um, different parts of the world, um, different parts of the US and so on. We have diverse interests. So some of us are interested in education. Some of us are interested in finance. Um, some others are interested in law and so on. So um, very, very different individuals. Um, but regardless of that, like we are actually there for one another and we're friends. So outside of council, um, we are the ones like they're, they're the people that I would call the first um, if anything happens. Mm -hmm. um, if I have good news, like they're the people I announce, uh, I tell them the first thing. So like above and beyond the, the team and the work that we do, we are actually friends and a family with one another. And that is super important, I think, especially now with everything being virtual, fostering that type of community. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to kind of transition into some questions about Penn, um, some personal stuff. So what is the most interesting class that you have taken at Penn and how have you applied some of those lessons in real life? I know you've done a lot of different things throughout your four years. Yeah, so I think the most interesting one uh, would be the Penn Global Seminar in, I did in Uganda. Mm -hmm. So I, that was an experience that I recommend to any student, like one, one semester, one class, like definitely take a Penn Global Seminar. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a class that has an in-person like, class component. So you're meeting every week, it's a full credit. Um, this one was in policy about developing countries. Um, so like we were talking a lot about policies in different industries that could help developing countries. Yeah. But then we had a travel component. So we actually went to Uganda for about 10 days during spring break. Um, and each day we dedicated it to a different industry. So like one day we spend in a healthcare clinic um, that treats HIV patients. Mm -hmm. Another one we spend with um, farmers and we talked about like how technology um, can improve farming and they were, they were running an experiment. So it was, it was really cool because we were reading these papers about like how technology is being uh, introduced into, into different industries in Uganda. And then we went there and we met with like the researcher that wrote the paper and met with the people that are part of the experiment. So um, it was just absolutely wonderful. Um, I don't know if there's like one lesson I can take from that and say like, oh, I'm not gonna apply this for the entire, uh, for my entire like professional experience, mm -hmm. but it was just unbelievable to go from what you learn on paper to like see it in reality and ask those questions like, to those people that are doing these things on the ground. Very inspiring. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I have to take a Penn Global Seminar then. <laughs> um, okay. You should, you should. And there are so yeah. many in different areas of the world. Like you, you won't even imagine. Like there's, I know there's one in India, there's one in China, there's, they're everywhere, so. Yeah, and I, I, I do a lot of like nonprofit work. And so getting that worldly experience is definitely going to be helpful for me. So, oh yeah. Awesome. My next question is if you could have a sit down conversation with any one person on Penn's campus, who would it be and why? Oh, I think this is a very hard question. <laughs> um, I might, I might need two seconds to think about it because, yeah, okay. um, one, one thing about Penn is like, if you really want to have a conversation with somebody, you can. So, um, I've never, I've never felt that like, barrier of uh, being yeah. able to reach out to somebody. Um, I can tell you one conversation I'm looking forward to and I'm actually going to have it um, this this incoming week. Yeah. Um, so I'm taking a class with Angela Duckworth on GWEET. GWEET is oh, passion and perseverance. Yeah. So I actually scheduled office hours with her next week. Uh, and I, I'm so excited to talk to her about that's just taking a different path. Some of the insecurities I have about the future and um, just ask her opinion about approaching a big decision um, about like future plans. Yeah, wow. That, that is definitely a great one. I know she has a book that I'm needing to read. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you should definitely put that on your reading list. And also you should take her class. It's really yeah, cool. I definitely will. Definitely in like my junior, senior year, Whenever I have like, I might study abroad one semester, but I'm going to just really slide that in. And I heard Adam Grant's class about organizational management is also really good. 
So yeah, I mean, I mean that one too right oh, now. Probably, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you have a great like. <laughs> you know. I waited till senior year until I could take whatever class that I wanted, and now I'm taking all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, so when you look back at Penn after you know ten years. What are some of the little things that you're going to remember about your experiences here? Definitely the people. I, I don't think, I think everything is going to be linked to the people. Mm -hmm. Going far back to like the, the people on my hallway the first year of college mm -hmm. um, that we, we went through like integrating into, into Penn together yeah. to the people I live with right now, um, to my, my best, absolute best friends and the my support system, yeah. um, the people on council, the people uh, that were there for me when uh, I took, I got a bad grade on an exam and they just <laughs> stayed up with me all night on like accounting 101 and went from like, okay, Christina, this is a balance sheet. This is how you look at it. This is how you understand it. Um, and then like basically dragged me on um, right. to, to getting to the final and getting like, a decent grade in the class <laughs> not failing it at least mm -hmm. um so like those are the memories that i'm gonna stay with um i do wish that like you know i'm gonna leave some kind of legacy um legacy in the mentorship that i do so i've uh, one thing that you are probably gonna realize in three years from now um is that when you when you're a rising junior or like when you're a junior a senior you want to do a lot more uh, mentorship and giving back to the to the students coming in because you you don't want them to follow uh, like make the same mistakes as you have when they're so easy to avoid if you know about them um, so I wish that um, like the people that I mentor and the people that I have closer with to me um, like they're gonna have a good experience so that's also one important thing yeah definitely that's that's really noble <laughs> um, so my last question is what one piece of advice would you give to current Penn students and how would you recommend they situate themselves into this community? Um, I think the most important piece of advice that I learned on my own skin is um, don't be afraid to not be the best mm -hmm. in a room at something. Uh, and I cannot stress this enough because most people at Penn are coming from places where they were the best, um, either in academics, in their extracurricular, in their sport, in whatever it was, um, like they were the absolute top. Mm -hmm. And then you come here and it's very hard to adjust to the fact that like you're not the best anymore. And actually, this is amazing because you have so much to learn from people around you. So uh, I would say to, to any freshman or any first year students, second year students struggling with this, just embrace it and accept the fact that you have so much more to learn from others. And this is just such an amazing opportunity for you to develop yourself in like ways you wouldn't have otherwise 